Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is the Pi Script Fun Show and Tell, uh, which um, is so select that it only involves the two uh, software engineers who work at Anaconda full time on the uh, Pi Script open source side of things. So um, clearly, everybody is out enjoying the sunshine if they're in the Northern Hemisphere or watching the football. It's the Euros. We can blame it on the Euros. There we go. Um, or well, they're in other engineering meetings or something like that. Uh, so um, we have a show and tell. And uh, Andrea, you have something to show and tell. Um, do you want to tell us about it? Yes. yes. So um, it's been discussed previously. If you follow previous uh, meetup meetings and, uh, and everything, um, it's about maybe I'll share my screen. Mm -hmm. um, that screen. This time you see. Yeah, I can see it. Can you zoom in a little right. bit when it's your browser? Yeah. Perfect. Right. It's about oh, not PolyScript, but PyScript. <laughs> well, PyScript is, um, is just trying to land a new feature that landed in PolyScript too, because PolyScript is the enabler project behind the scene that provides just enough. Um, bricks to, yeah. to, to to create something more. Um, and now there is a merge request in, in, in PyScript. And if you if you go to the uh, pull requests that are still open, uh, I wrote also a bit of documentation. Yeah. Now yeah. the documentation is uh, pretty straightforward. And also I wrote some implementation details, some discovery, some thoughts around um, this new functionality. But I want to show you because, you know, uh, I'm I'm that kind of yeah. Person let's, let, let, you only live once, YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. What we discuss is we want we want an, an easy way to have workers. It doesn't require the x x work a cross worker or x worker or however you want yeah. to call it. The sync name, which is ugly and not really uh, meaningful because it doesn't really sync much <laughs> but uh for historical reason is there um and we say we want a worker from PyScript. we want to import workers and we want to have enough magic to await any worker that has a name in this case the name is test you can see it's the same name that they use as an attribute and um, this is a, a micropython script and py script that is reaching to um Iodide worker script. So this runs behind the scene in a worker, and it could have uh, any any definition in here, anything really. Um, and uh, and at the end of this 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 script, I'm using a convention that we decided was good enough. I did a little investigation, and it looks like Dunder export is nowhere into the um pilot keys or yeah. uh, or uh, it's not it's not it's nowhere yeah that was surprising to me because apparently we have a dunder import it's not under export because historically python just you 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 define things and you can import things when you when you uh, use that file as a module correct in this case the 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 concern was how do we say that if i have a bunch of things in my python code i just want to export this should we say uh i script um, um export uh, and we had the discussion but at the end of the day what's cool enough here is that we have just python code don't even need to know or understand that PyScript exists at all we just export that version. So in this case, all this code does, it has some, some utility in it. It can do something. It doesn't matter. At the end, we want to explore this pilot version. So and the thing is, as, as the code stands right now, the only thing that would be visible to me on the main thread is PyDide version. Anything, yes. because it's not in the Dunder export list, will not be available. That's that's kind of the, 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 well, the important thing here. Yeah, you need to put anything now to it, export. But basically, I, I'm expecting that um, as anything 
and if it throws an error, it's not there, or if you try to invoke it, it's going to throw an error anyway, yeah. because it, it's not there. Yeah. So it has to be exported by name. Yeah. And this connection is similar to what Don't we do it. with yeah. all. Um, I don't know if it's good or not, but the thing is with export, with export, with, with, with all, you can also export the references. Yeah. Uh, references don't survive easily cross, cross, yeah. cross work, cross main thread. Or, so yeah. we said, okay, we need a better thing that is very explicit and it says, okay, I want to provide just these functionalities and it has to be a function because it has to be invocable somehow, yeah. somehow. So that's what the main thread can do, can invoke something from a worker and I wait for it because the main thread, you see there's no worker in here yeah. and the main thread cannot and should not ever block the page. Yeah. And so this is the current test page. Uh, let's see what we do. Again, we just from PyScript, we import document and workers. We want to await worker test. This is basically awaiting that this thing and it strapped and the whatever it's exporting is is known and its code already was evaluated or the, it did run already yeah um so that it can provide also this export functionality yeah. so when we do when we do this here um we have direct access from whatever export was referring to and so we can just await again we are on the main thread, we cannot block it, so we need to await a that version, even if there's nothing asynchronous in here, yeah. but there could be. This could be an async that version, and we could have um, import time, and we could do something like, because yeah, the worker... Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Yeah. Time sleep one. Um, Actually, I'm going to try that too, just to show you the difference. So now I'm going to comment this because I just want to show that this is just what I'm invoking. And even if it's not explicitly a sync, it's going to be awaited on the main thread. I'm going to append that version, which is going to be a string. So document.body.append, if just add a string on the body. And um, and then this actually is meaningless. This was uh, mostly for integration uh, this yeah. test that I'm using in uh, um, in PolyScript. But here I just want to demo that we are using custom types like MPy and MPy. Uh, oh, where is the result? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the, have has the uh, the uh, initialization signature for high worker uh being modified to be the same as the attributes of the script tag or vice versa so that's uh that's under discussion and i wrote in the i wrote here yeah why it's under discussion yeah. um ah, but right, the thing okay. is, yeah. if, if here if i import I worker and I do W I worker. So I I'm I have full control yeah. of this file, right? So what's the point in here to provide a name? Ah so no, this you, is you, you wouldn't I, need to. Yes, exactly. It I, wouldn't make sense then. Uh, no. Because I have full control here. I have I have the, the ready, which is already there. So but, but, I wait. But, but what I mean is that the type is equal to PY and MPY and things like that. Oh, yeah, type PY. Oh, yes. Type PY. The only thing is that here, this I'm creating in my own main thing. Yeah. A worker. Should I um... make it normal or should I? Not? Um, but this is discussed on the on the merge request. Okay, we'll go right now. Yeah. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've sort of hijacked your demo. Uh, Andrea, can you go back to the the code real quick before you delete it? No, because I don't want to talk about this. So I was showing something else. <laughs> we're, we we're can doing go back the, later. This has been recorded. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, type by name test worker. I want to ask a question. But but uh, Fabio, I think you should be able to ask a. Hang on, Andrea. Let, let's let's let 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 Fabio ask his question. 
I just want, Fabio, I just wanted you to know that we were, it, it's being recorded and it's a demo. Oh, that's all yeah, I wanted you to know. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, let's forget for a second <laughs> whatever we discuss right now. Um, so, we uh, have a skip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang, 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 hang on, Andre. Uh, Fabio, you do you want to ask you, ask you a question quick? <laughs> no. I, this is, I, I've been super busy. I don't have, I didn't have time and I probably don't have time today or today to read the full thread. So can you go back real quick so that I can ask a question real quick? What? To, to, if you put, just put, just put the, yeah, put the pie worker code back. No, well, oh, yeah. control Z, like go back to the example pie worker that you had. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so let's say I have another script pi in the main thread, and I want to access the results from the I don't know name. Ah, I'm not following. Yeah, can I try and explain what you've just asked, Fabio? Then I know that I've understood it, and by explaining yep. it, Andre. Okay, so we have. Okay, yeah, exactly. No, it's not a worker though. Take work. Not a worker. No worker on line twenty three. It's not a worker. No, 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 no. No name. No name. No name. It's just. A, uh, it's just a regular. I'm just running, in Pyodide, a script. That's all. So script type equals pi close, square bracket. Yeah, none of that. Right, and inside there. So line twenty two and a half. If we insert into there. From PyScript import workers. No, not that, not all of it, just from PyScript. No, that's the first line. Just, just the first just, line. That's it, yeah. I think we're on the same page here, Fabio. Just import workers. And then now I want to put uh, on line 23 and a half, insert into there. Insert into there. Uh, IDK. So on line 24, <laughs> put IDK equals await workers. I don't know. Right. Now, then I can then do IDK dot do stuff, whatever it is. Okay. That's what you're asking. How do I make that? Oh, look at that. Fireworks as well. <laughs> I hate Zoom. Oh, it's not even Zoom. It's Discord. Ah! It's not even Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay. I that's think my that's, question. A that's, a, that's a legitimate, that's a very good question, actually. Um, Andrea. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, ah, well, here is we go. It? This is the interesting thing. Tell us, Andrea. Tell us, Andrea. You see the coupling. This script has no knowledge whatsoever that this is happening. Yeah. This doesn't know anything about this. So the moment this doesn't exist, this is going to be a wait forever because I don't know, it will never be resolved. Well, so what do you mean? I, that's. That's the author of the app writing those things, right? Yeah, but it, that's the thing. In which case you want to bootstrap in a foreign uh, runtime interpreter a named worker where you have full access in it. So why this is needed? Because this, what you see here, is just this. What we have now is yeah. just this. So. so so perhaps Andrea, is, the, the, pi, 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 SRC, and pi, and this declarative like Martin asked on the page. So this but, is but, not needed. Well, uh, you have this. So, but but this if is, we're keeping that one, doesn't this doesn't rely that this code does something and put the I don't know type in anywhere? Because this is what how you declaratively uh, specify there is a file which name is, I don't know, is a worker and is available to both MicroPython and Python. But this is, at least this is what Martin asked. The PyWorker, I think, is a different story, but it's clear to me that there's no correlation between you creating a PyWorker yourself where you have direct access, it's in your code, it's in your environment or interpreter, Environment is a good word because we have also environments in 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 um, by editors, and so you want you want to work. I don't know. Go for it. 
that's that's what you do. Okay. I think uh, this is better than coupling his knowledge of this script from something else. So the moment I write these or I have a code that expects this is the moment I want these on the page. It's not that the moment I want some, imagine this was in a source. I don't want to crawl the source code uh, of every everything I have to see if is anyone declaring this somewhere. It's on the page. So to me, this is why I, I in the, in the merge request, I wrote, I strongly doubt the name in a pie worker has any meaning because it's a bad coupling in terms of there's no separation of concern at all. It doesn't play well as much as this one does. It's just more code. And it's not clear what's the advantage of doing that because if even if you want a micro Python worker, you just do this and yeah, you have okay. the same. Okay, Andre, Andre, me, Andre, Andre, Andre uh, but, uh, Fabio's got his hand up uh, from, for, the, for five minutes. Because just want to, Fabio, basically, go for it, Fabio. Um, I don't understand the case for if we want to keep both interfaces, PyWorker and the script worker, uh, the need to have different APIs. It's not a different API. They're, they're the same API. Well, but if they if the worker doesn't support name, then they, then they're different. Unless yeah. I'm misunderstanding your point. It's an attribute of a, of an element is not is not uh, an API. So the the pi worker doesn't have a source, doesn't have a worker. So these are declarative approach to specify a name in an element. So you get the element by name, and it's not the name of the worker itself. It's just then they're the, not the same, right? Like then, then the same API is is literally the same API. It's just the 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 way you want to relate it is this. But sorry, yeah. I'm not I'm not sure I understand. If you say they're the same API, they should accept the same attributes. No, because worker doesn't under, doesn't understand source. It never did. So it's just and they're the different APIs. <laughs> It's two different ways, not, not two different ways. It's two different things completely. So it's apples and oranges. So this the work. OK, the then they are not the same API. The Pi worker is the equivalent of worker API on the web. This is a script tag, which is the equivalent of a script tag on the web. So these are two different things. The moment you bootstrap this, you have worker functionalities from, from a worker on the web. You don't have. The script functionality. So this is not strictly related to what a script in terms of attributes and things can offer. It's just something else that we forward to the worker behind the scene. But then again, they're not the same API, right? They behind the scene they are the same API. So it's like the worker is a worker API, and that's an API, which is not the right, same. Okay. Maybe that's just maybe that's just. Uh, uh, nomenclature, right? When I say they are the same API, I mean they are identical. Doesn't mean they are based on the same underlying API. What I'm thinking, you're, what I'm hearing you say is that the script API with worker option uses the same API, the PyWorker API, but it has more attributes. Is that correct? To me, it's two different things. So what we are solving here is this. Before we had worker, uh, we had no way to grab this except add an ID, my worker, add the code here to document get element by ID, my worker, and then extern and then you eventually need to await for ready, and then eventually you reach its sync. All this boilerplate is done by this convention on the HTML side, that where you can name it and you just and you just do this. This is just a convention. Uh, it's like any other shortcut we have we provide in PyScript. This is just giving you an easier way to avoid all that logic, and you just await 
workers. I don't know. And you don't even have to check for sync then. You just test PyoDide version and, that, and that's what you get at the end of the day. So you have just PyoDide version and that's it. Yeah. So you can export whatever else you want. You can, because it's a worker, you can have import time, time sleep, and it's just going to take twice as much. Actually, no, it's going to break because uh, what did I do? What did I do here? Oh, I, so I, I, I don't want to spend I, the whole call on this. My point here is mainly from a point of view of if we say they are the same API. I'm not saying that. That's in fact. That's what I'm. That's that's <laughs> what the region of my question. That's why I was like, okay, if they're the same API, then. But if they're not, fine. But we need to define where they differ, and from the user point of view, what are the consequences? Right. That's my point. If the Pi Worker API is not meant to be associated but with Pi Script import workers then we need to be very careful and highlight that yes. because I, as a user, would expect it to be. Yeah. Okay. That's wow, my whole Robbie, point. You've made a really good point, which is that, you know, I don't... Why? Why is the use case for that? Why? So the pile worker explicit usage was something that Martin described as not a common case and nobody's using it. And the few that are using it are using the JavaScript version. So, yes. Yes. So wh where's the... Where is the point? Again, you, you do this. So you have a full reference in here, and nobody else has a, any idea what you're doing here. So you're just doing this. File, pi, you type uh, iodide. Here you can already expose your sync methods from the main thread, um, whatever that is. And here you can awake for readiness of the the, the, the the other side of affair and then you can do if you know because you are creating this and you know what's inside file API you know that uh, the file API seem expose uh, this stuff so this is how it how it's been to date and all the things you can do now you add name here so I don't mind. I, I, honestly, I don't mind. I just want to understand what's this for. So I, I think that's, what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. What As a for? user, who's going to use this anywhere around this this code space? Well, we don't know that. We, we, no. we don't know that yet. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I, as a user, just told you an example that came to mind how I would use it. If you're saying, well, you shouldn't do this because actually PyWorker doesn't have a name attribute and blah, no. blah, 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 blah. I'm saying... Hang on, Andrea, hang on. We can't talk all over each other. Sorry, I'm being the chair. I understand that. I don't mean to interrupt anybody. I'm not trying to be rude, but I, I just want to make sure, Fabio, the floor's yours. Andrea, let Fabio finish, and then then we can actually have the conversation you know, done properly. So, Fabio, sorry. What I'm trying to say is, I do not care if they're the same or they are different. Okay, Whatever we as a team decide is best, it's best. Cool. Once we decide it, again, when I first joined the call, I understood they were the same API. And I told you, cool, if they're the same API, I would expect the same attributes. And if I have name, I, sh I, show, I, I told you an example where I could imagine if I'm in the MPy interpreter and I start a worker and I want to have access for, uh, to it on the Py uh, interpreter on the main thread, that was a use case. And you're like, well, you shouldn't do this. You should use scripts. No, no, no. Cool. <laughs> Let me finish, please, please, please. Hang on, Andrea. Hang on, Andrea. Fabio, sorry. Go All I'm you. saying is... If they are the same API, cool. We should document and understand and tell users these are the same APIs, but you should prefer this instead of that because of those reasons. If they are not the same API, okay, we should do the same. We should say they are not the same API. Uh, the script 
has all those attributes differently, blah, 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 blah. This is the use case that you should use it. And it's most of the use cases. If you have a sp specific PyWorker needs from the JavaScript side, use the PyWorker. And the difference here is if I'm using PyWorker, I will not see my worker in the list of from PyScript import workers. Like there are consequences from using one or the other. All I'm asking for is that we clarify on the documentation level point of view and examples point of view so that it's clear to users, period. I That's think, it. I think, I think we can all agree that clear documentation, whilst it's an impossible utopia, is certainly somewhere we should be trying to navigate towards anyway. Oh, um, I, I I, Andrea, I, I, hang, hang on a second, Andrea. Look for a second. Yeah. I agree with everything Fabio said. Yeah. So I want to be clear here. Yeah. It's just, it's not about, this is not to me, this is not a use case. This is like, this is a different question. Is, is it possible? So if I do this, can I do that? And I can tell you right now, no, I can make it possible. I'm asking what's the use case for this? Because the initial thing was to be declarative on, on the page because Martin asked for being declarative on the page. And now that is possible. I'm wondering, because I worked on it, I'm wondering what's the reason for this to be implemented? It's not, it, it, it's again, like I've said last time, to me, if there are no official technical impediments from the standards or the browsers, it's always possible. I'm just asking here, this is, I can make it this possible, but how are we gonna, I mean, what's, what's the point? Because I see here, I see code that comes from expectations that might be here or might be nowhere. And so I wonder if you don't see this, I don't mind anywhere around in your page or in your code or in your project, what, where is the use case where you want to expect this to work? Because this is actually, uh, actually this should be a sync too, and not a worker. This is a forever pending promise. You print okay here, that will never happen. And this is gone. This is a foot gun to me because okay. await something that might be there or might not. But if it's on the page instead, because you see the name, you see, oh, actually there's no script. There's no name I don't mind on the page. Of course, this never happens. So to me, it's, it's more clear and more explicit how it is now. I can, again, I can make this possible. Yeah. It's not an issue. I can make this not from a worker, actually, from the main. I can make this possible. I just want that we want to offer this because this is a foot gun and I already can yeah. foresee people asking, okay. I have a waiting workers and yeah, it's not yeah. happening. Yeah, Why yeah, Andrea, that? Andrea, okay. So I'm... Conscious of the time because we've, we've, we've got we've got we've got ten minutes left. Otherwise, I have to. I've got another meeting after this and things like that. And I want to be respectful yeah. of people's time and things. I also just want to say, um, it's like we're doing a live action role play of a GitHub issues discussion uh, live during the PyScript fun call. So that's a that's that's a first. Uh, I would like to suggest. I mean, clearly, we need to refine this. We need to make sure uh, and. Uh, it, you'd need to be a pretty flaky engineer not to agree with Fabio's request to make it clear. And also what you're saying, Andrea, which is, you know, we're kind of giving people a foot gun. So perhaps we need to be very clear. I think you're both very, it's very much saying the same thing. We need to be very clear about what is the idiomatic use of things. And if you stray out of those idioms, you're going to be pointing that bazooka at your foot. And if you blow yourself up, <laughs> Uh, you know, a rocket jump, you're not going to be in a good situation. So, I, but I think the way, the place where we should do this is perhaps on the GitHub pull request or, or issue or whatever, where we can then refine that message and, and, and get that done rather than the PyScript um, fun. This is kind of like more, more like PyScript philosophy discussion uh, rather than the PyScript fun week. But hey, there we are. We've got three philosophers in the room. But with 10 minutes left, with less than 10 minutes left, Andrea, I want you to imagine that we just edited away the last 25 minutes. <laughs> and fascinating though it was, and I think we should absolutely keep it in the video as well because it's a very good discussion. It's important as well, I think, for people to see engineers discussing things as well. But would you like to just continue and, and wrap up your demo, please? 
uh, yeah, I will, I will do that as soon as possible. I, I agree these, conversa these conversations need to be done. Yeah. Uh, I'm just sad that Fabio says, I don't have time to read the thing, but I'm asking this and, and now you know my opinion. And, and so we, I would love for this discussion to but, but Fabio that's, is that's, a multidimensional being. He's in seven meetings at once. No, Fabio I don't want to the... sound, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, but I apologize. Then, I don't uh, want to sound difficult. I really don't want to sound difficult. Just... No, it's like if we make a decision, uh, we need to bother you. And if you are not in the loop, and it's it's hard. No, no, exactly. Uh, I th because this conversation is happening very fast and stuff. I just thought it wouldn't be that controversial, and you know, we could we could wrap it up like five minutes. That's fine. If we don't march before the weekend, I will I will read and comment on the weekend for sure. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I will wait for the comments. Uh, but I, that, that's the thing. I already wrote basically what we just discussed. Um, and again, it's not about possibilities. It's like, should we, or is it a blocker right now? Is it a must have? Absolutely. Because to me, it can be a foot gun. And I have explained fully better, even in this video, why is that? But anyway, so we are here. It works. <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's the best thing. And, um, and again, because we are in a worker, we can sleep. We can uh, try to, uh, now it's gonna take longer because there is a one, one second time sleep. I can make it 10, but we don't wanna wait. Um, and if I try to do uh, anything, anything, let's see what happens because I, 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 I haven't tried that, but this sure, surely <laughs> I tell you because I- fail because it's not in the export. Over the thing. I don't wanna see if there's a, a nice error or something. Uh, oh, yeah, unsupported action, oh. anything. It's, it's it's an uncoding promise. Okay, this this the error. This is really not about anything. So it's failing. It's not working. And, That's what um, it should the do. Thing, yeah, but the thing here is not necessarily strictly related to this uh, name worker thing. It's more how sync might fail. Um, and I think that's that. It's part of one old. Uh, issues we have with uh, if sync fails, so we should have better error handling, and I agree with that. But right now, this is just exporting, and this keeps. Well, actually, I'm I'm pretty impressed that in this case, Micro Python did them. It, it just kept going. You know, this failed. Yeah. And Micro Python just kept going. So I want to try with Pyodide to see if I have the same thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah. So here we have an issue with MicroPython, I think, because I was expecting these. Yeah. This is good because the code is not running. This breaks and this goes out, out of the async. MicroPython, it looks like we have a failing promise. So it's not really awaited or it's awaited and it fails. And then it doesn't matter. Everything else keeps going. And this is kind of not super good because yeah. if this was sync code, um, that would have been, would, would have not being the case. So this is something to yeah, maybe maybe discuss or point this part of the video to 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 Daniel to or Damien, yeah. MicroPython folks. But this is not subscribe so, so whatever error is not the, the, the nicest error we have, but I was expecting an error because yeah. this doesn't make sense. So this cannot happen. This doesn't exist and so this is this Pyodide is doing it right here in terms of errors, but this is a same thing. And I can also uh i think i i think i can i can do let me fail uh live i think that fail there's an uh, s in async right. huh? there's an s in async sorry i'm being github copilot here. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you uh please <laughs> Error, something. I could go into clippy mode if that'll make it easier. It looks like you're right, trying to write a function here. <laughs> yes! Uh, I want to wait fail. And I want to print OK. This is just... Um, this is just MicroPython. I want to get rid of everything else. And right, I want to see, see what, what happens here. Yeah. Oh! It fails! <laughs> so, something is weird. Oh, there's no wait here. Can I... You don't wait have to wait here. Wait one, two, three. I don't know. What happens? 
it's not iterable. That, well, that's actually very, very true. Um, and for JS, enter JS, await JS, promise resolve nothing. Yeah. What if I don't? What if I don't raise the error? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I should raise the error. Uh, okay. So how do I create an error without raising it? Um, oh, await. Wait. I can await reject. Yeah. Reason. I can return that. But, uh, so what happens here? Let's see. Well, that's the fun part. Ah, why it works? <laughs> I don't know why it works. <laughs> okay. We found, okay. A, we found this a corner is... case. This is. The, 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 this this PyScript fun has been. I'm I'm just going to sort of wrap the meeting up because we're we're at the end of the meeting. Uh, first of all, it has been fun. It has also been challenging, and uh, and we've had a, a really interesting technical argument, and I mean that in the best sense of that word as well. Um, we've also done some live debugging and live coding. So I mean, we've had it all today, folks. I mean, we should turn this into a kind of a three-hour Cecil B. DeMille cast of thousands movie. Um, but you know, all we need is is just the three of us to, to to make movie history like this. And I can't wait for the Oscar nomination for best actor, <laughs> best supporting actor, and best bug. Fabio. <laughs> actually, no, yeah, that that actually could lead to a future PyScript fun pairing. Uh, recurring session where we actually yeah. do this more often. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, this is the thing. You know, well, both of you know, because I pair with both of you. Um, pairing sessions are really fun and they're really valuable. You don't do pairing because you've got somebody over your shoulder going, oh, you've done that wrong. You do pairing <laughs> because it's sharing knowledge and the co pilot is asking questions and it's an opportunity to kind of get the discussion going and things like that. This is why it's fun. So why you no fail? So, um, you know, if we actually video uh, a pairing session, I think that would be very good for people who are interested in the technical details of how PyScript works. If you're interested, um, on my blog, I've got a video of me and Damien pairing. Uh, I know, and, uh, and Andrea, you've seen that video because we it was when we uh, um, when we were debugging all the JavaScript uh, at the beginning of the MicroPython uh, stuff. And um, you couldn't make the meeting, so we videoed it for you, and it turned into this epic pairing session. Um, and this is where I learned that uh, Damien knows the ASCII code so well that he can read numbers and say that, yes, that means H-E-L-L-O space world, uh, <laughs> just by reading the ASCII characters. Uh, that's how much sort of embedded engineering he's done. So th that was a thing of beauty to see. Um, so I think we should do that, definitely. Um, I'm not sure how many people would turn up to watch it, but... <laughs> It's for posterity. It's for um, posterity. If anything. Definitely, definitely. Folks, uh, I'm going to stop the recording, but as always, it's a huge pleasure and so much fun to do this sort of stuff. And Andrea, thank you so much for the hard work that you put in to making that happen, because I know that was a challenge. And it was a challenge just getting us all into the same room to figure out what it should probably be. Clearly, we've got more discussions to have, but I think we're very close and the discussion can happen over on GitHub. I'm going to stop the recording now because I've got... <laughs>